Prep one, how are you today? Today we are going to take new Hello Prep one, Unit Eleven on land and the sea, Part Two. Reading and speaking. Plants a tree today. Plant a tree today. First, wash the plastic pot and dry it. Number two. Second, put some small stones at the bottom of the pot. Number three. Then. Fill the pot with soil. Number four. Next, press your finger into the soil and make a small hole about two centimeter deep. Number five. Plant the seed in the hole and cover it with soil. Number six. Finally, put the pot outside in a warm place. Number seven. Water it every day. Don't give it too much water. Number eight. When the tree grows too big for the pot, Plant it in a bigger pot or in the ground. So, again, we will read how to plant a tree today again. Do you want to help save our planet? Our a uh, Well, plant a tree. Trees help to keep our air healthy. You can plant a nut or the seed or, or the seed of a fruit. Number one, first wash the plastic pot and dry it. Number two, second, put some small stones at the bottom of the pot. Number three, then fill the pot with soil. Number four, next, press your finger into the soil and make a small and make a small hole about two centimeters deep. Number five, plant the seed in the hole and cover it with soil. Number six, finally, Put the pot outside in a warm place. Number seven, water it every day. Don't give it too much water. When the tree grows too big for the pot, plant it in a bigger pot or in the ground. So now we have finished the steps of how to plant a tree. Working pairs ask for and give instructions about how to do the following. Make a phone call. How to make a phone call. Make a sandwich. Make something from recycled plastic. Play a sport or a game. Here we have a story. Read the story quickly and put the pictures in the correct order. Number one. The old man and the sea by Ernest Hermingway. Santiago was an old fisherman. He felt worried because the last time he caught a fish was 84 days ago. On the 85th day, he felt a big, he felt a big fish at the end of his fishing line. But the fish was stronger than Santiago. It took two days for him to finally pull it to the boat. Then, the sharks care then the sharks came when santiago returned to his home on the beach he had no fish only a skeleton he felt weak and slept for a long time but the other fishermen saw how big the fish was and knew that he was brave to catch it santiago lost the fish but the other fishermen now respected him more than ever who is the main character? Santiago, an old fisherman. How did Santiago feel when he didn't catch any fish for 84 days? Now, you, I will ask the questions and you can answer it by yourself. Why did he take two days to pull the fish onto the boat? Number four, why was there only a skeleton left when he returned to the beach? Number five, what did the other fishermen think of Santiago? Number six, what do you think the story teaches us? Now we have lesson six. We use must or mustn't as we said before. Why must we clean the beaches? What do we need? What should we do with the rubbish we find? Where and when is the event? How can we tell people about our event? We must clean our beach. Where and when is the event? West Beach, Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m., 5 p.m. Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m., 5 p.m. Rubbish bags, 
rubbish bags, gloves to protect your hands, bottle, a bottle of water to drink and snacks to eat. Some people like listening to music on their headphones. 100,000 pieces of plastic rubbish on this beach. One plastic bottle can stay in our environment for up to 1,000 years. Dangerous for animals and the fish. Posters around the school and the town. Emails to local groups, local radio station or newspaper. Now we have a tip. A leaflet is a folded paper that has information about something. It has a short, exciting title, a short, simple introduction, clear headings, simple sentences. Now we have lesson 7. You can answer this by yourself. It has a hard shell to protect it. It's the, great, the biggest and heaviest sea animal. It has 8 legs. It lives in the sea. It has a big teeth. It's a dangerous sea animal. It stings you when you touch it. It lives in the sea. Many animals have this behind them. People do not have one. People catch fish with fishing. It makes a reef at the bottom of the ocean. When you throw away plastic, comma, it stay in the environment for years. So we will answer when you throw away plastic, comma, it stays in the environment for years. Number three, if I see rubbish on the ground, comma, I throw it in the bin. Number four, when a seed gets water and light, it grows into a healthy plant. Number five, if you don't water plants, comma, they don't grow. Number six, I, I walk to school if the bus doesn't arrive. Now we have finished new hello part two. Thank you so much and goodbye. See you next time.